Hi, this is Osias from Session. Today we're going to learn how to generate new videos from Instagram videos. So how to generate new videos or edit new videos from already existing Instagram videos. So the way you can do that is by using Session and Zapier. As you know, Session is a service that helps you generate thousands of highly personalized videos from any data source. That data source sometimes could be, for example, Twitter or uh, a web form submission or even the information you, you save into a web, uh, into a spreadsheet or um, Instagram or your own CMS, your databases. In this case, we're going to use Instagram. And the way you combine Instagram with Session in order to generate the new personalized videos is by using Zapier. Zapier is a service that connects several apps, like for example, Instagram and Session, with triggers and actions. So, in this case, you could add any of these apps in order to generate personalized videos from these apps, from the information every app has to offer. But in this case, we're going to add Instagram. Instagram, and every trigger, every uh, trigger app has, uh, of course, its triggers. So in this case, Instagram has new liked media, new tagged media, new media posts, new followers, etc. The one we want to use now, for example, it could be this one here, new tagged media. So triggers whenever a photo or image with this specific tag is posted. In this case, it will be a video. And in the action side, we're going to add session. So I will use this one here. I have several session apps just because I, we do a lot of tests. So uh, I will use this one here. You will, you will only see one session app. Use that one. That's fine. And the only action you can actually use is this one here. Create video. Creates a new video with the data sent by the trigger. So when this happens, when there is a new tagged media, a new video will be then created with session. You click continue, you test or add your Instagram account, you do the same with your session account, click continue, and now let's add the tag we want to use. Let's say we want to use something like uh, sports videos, for example. You could add one or several filters, in this case I'm not using any filter, but you could do, you could do it, like for example, uh, by specific location, by when that video was created, by specific user ID, user, uh, username, by the type, for example, video. This, this could be really uh, important in this case, for example, etc. Now this is the session step. We, before we saw the Instagram st step, and in this case, this is the session step. So what this uh, what Zapier is asking us now is to add or to tell the platform what's the session template we want to use. So the session templates uh, tells uh, session and Zapier and everyone how the video will look like. So in this case, we want to use this session template, generating videos from Instagram videos. This is a template I created for this example and other examples. So as you can see, this template has two objects. This object here, which is video one, which is a video, and another video, this object here, with the ID video two. So let me show you an example of a video created with this template. Here we have an introduction, and then we have another video. So this introduction, this animation here, this is video one, and this is video two. Our next step Usually you do this before when, 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 yeah, you do this before, but I'm showing you this so, so you can, you know, have the, the, the main concept clear. So uh, the video one, that's what we called a template media. That means that every video created with this template will always have this great transition dot move uh, as an introduction, which is the video we saw at the beginning this animation here. And the video too, this one here, the airplane we can see now, 
that's what we called a dynamic media where you can change it template media coming from your computer or from a URL from your Amazon account or from session or a dynamic media which means that this content is coming from outside session from in this case from Instagram or any other data source so what we see here these are the templates that are stored in our session account so we need to find this template we want to use for example it was generating videos from Instagram videos this is the, the template I want to use and now we'll need to add the metadata for that video so let's say that as a metadata I want to add something like this is structure uh, a new cool sport sports video by and then we insert the metadata so this is one of my favorite features by Zapier uh, so it could be like username so this is the information that is coming from the Instagram API let's say when to use the username so it will be a new cool sports video by uh, this username and something pretty similar to in the description so uh, this is a new video created by you could add any other thing if you want to use your full name for example and for the keywords yes I will just add session and session TV for the custom metadata, you could add something like the user ID or any other information or none if you want to. So I, let's say we want, in this case, because this is a marketing campaign and we want to track what's the user ID and not only the user, uh, user username, so in this case we want, let's say, the user ID. And that's all. And now this is the really cool thing. We could add the, we need to add the dynamic media. That means that we are changing what we saw before, this airplane here, the airplane video, for an Instagram video that has or that is using the sports, the sport videos, uh, hashtag or tag. So in this case, if you are using videos, images, and, and or an audios coming from outside session, you, you need to give the platform a URL that the platform can use to actually download that content automatically. That's how you generate or create personalized videos. So in this case, we need to see what's the the uh, the Instagram video, uh, URL we can use in order to download the content from automatically. So in this case, is this one here? Videos standard resolution URL. This is the the the, uh, the URL that session can use in order to automatically download that video and generate automatically also a new video, a new personalized video. We click continue, and now let's test this zap test zap with this sample we go back to session let's see if session is generating the video now session is processing that video and in a few seconds that video will be done here we have it done click files download just because I'm stored that, storing that content in my session account this is introduction and here is the video so as you saw before here we have the introduction this is a template media that means that every video created with this template will always have this introduction unless we change it and then we have the dynamic media which is the content we are taking from Instagram automatically in this case a content triggered by the the tag uh, sport videos Let's test another uh, zap, another uh, sample, sorry. Testing and testing. So two videos should be, should be already, yeah, they're processing. So let's wait a few seconds. And done and done, okay. So let's see the first one the second one in this case you know what kind of mountain biker you are and dress appropriately downhill racer park rat cross <laughs> so here we have the introduction we saw before the template media that means that every video created with this template has 
this introduction because that's how I created now created it now and then this second video video two. And then let's check the second video, which well the third video we just created using the tag sport video. Your new addiction is carbon. Although healthier than cocaine, it is more expensive. And finally, now that you're broken, your girlfriend has left you. So by doing this, you can rebrand the videos generated by your users or create creative cam cam uh, marketing campaigns, video marketing campaigns. So your last the last step here would be to to add the uh, the name you want for this new app. So for example, let's say uh, from from Instagram to session generate personalized marketing videos, for example. You turn it on, and that means that every time that specific tag is used uh, sport videos a new personalized video will be automatically generated by session if you have any question at all just let us know we are here to help you can write us an email at help at session.com or even find us on twitter at session and yeah and also here you will always find the uh, click for life help uh, bottom <laughs> in order to receive life help help from our team so we are here to help have a great day bye